Hello everybody, Mr. Moo here in the cockpit of the Bifrost, here in system HD 167971, about 3,000 light years out from the bubble. And, uh, so, you want to learn how to use the Neutron Highway? Here we go. The A star is a big O-class blue-white star. Maybe a B, I don't recall. The B and C stars are a black hole and a neutron star, respectively. And, well, the neutron star is what we're interested in right now. There's a website I'll link to in the description, which is basically a map of how to find and get to and use neutron stars as a massive jump boost. So, on approach here, this thing, I mean, we're so far away that this thing hasn't been explored yet. But, be warned, this is going to use some copy-pasting. This is going to be, you're going to have to use your uh, alt-tab a bit here to get the, um, get the full experience of the Neutron Highway. So, not so great with VR, uh, unless I guess I have to rig up some kind of, um, some kind of in visor uh, window for my my chrome but that's neither here nor there I'm just killing a little bit of time before we get to this neutron star throttling back and there you can start to see the jet cones throttling back some more You want to take your time with these things, but they can shave a considerable amount of time off your trip if you have some setup prior to. Alright, getting the scan. So, let's get some speed up so we can see the exclusion zone around this star. Come on. Well, I'm not going to risk it, so come on. Okay, so what you do is you bring yourself up and away from the exclusion zone, which hopefully on the next jump we'll see. Get yourself lined up with the cone. Go to, well, let's call it 5,000 kilometers per second. Bump up the speed a little bit. Ah, close enough. And drop in. Warning, frameshift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frame drive supercharged. Boost you fight activated. It, get your boost and get clear. Now then, I've had this set up prior, but I've used the website of the Neutron Route Mapper. There's a copy-paste function built in. So next thing you do, you go to the Galaxy Map. Go here. Control V. And now, instead of hitting the Route button, you just hit the Select button. As you can see, 176 light years away, and going to use up a tiny amount of fuel down there in the lower right. Initiate jump sequence. Jumping. So while it's jumping, I have moved off to the next system in the route and copy-pasted that. And there you can see the exclusion zone.
get a scan off of this because waste not want not. Yourself set up into the cone. Frameshift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frameshift drive boost activated. Hammer the throttle open. Get clear of the cone. Come on. There we go. Galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Rinse and repeat. Come on. There you go. Hundred and fifty seven light years. Jumping, move back in, check off the previous jump, and copy paste, or copy the next one. Galaxy map. Galaxy map. Scan should complete by the time I get this copy pasted in. Two hundred thirty four light years. Yep, scan completed. Avoid the exclusion zone. Warning Frameship Drive operating beyond safety limits. Frameship Drive Boost activated. Now, this will damage your drives, but if you execute it properly, uh, it should only do one percent per jump. I've been, yeah, I've been jumping pretty far here. I took a little bit of damage when I did cross the exclusion zone accidentally. Got dropped back into real space, but, well, that's what auto repair systems are for. So while that's jumping, Cross that off the list and move to the next one. completed. That's only 117 light years. Only, he says. Okay. Get your nose away from the exclusion zone. Warning. Frameship drive operating beyond safety limits. Oh, that was a bad one. Dropped in a little too fast, and it kicked us out. Boost activated. But if you can get kicked back in, there you go. You'll take an extra percentage point of damage on that, probably. And of course, your mileage will literally vary 
depending on how good your jump drive is and how good your jump distance is on your ships. But for those explorers that want to get out there and get a lot of neutron stars, even if they've been previously explored, this is the way to do it. One more jump, let's see where it takes us. Let's see here now, we are in D89, so check that off the list. Copy the next one. And our new target is 211 light years away. Not sure I'm going to get a good jump into this one. We'll see. Looks like. Okay, throttle up again. Warning. Frameshift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frameshift drive super Boost charged. activated. Come on, get clear. There we go. Fly safe, commanders, and I will see you back in the bubble.